Alright guys, as promised, an upper body workout. I think I got all um, all the exercises recorded on this, but uh, let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with uh, three sets of six on bench press. And as you can see, um, I was trying to kind of get my groove in there and really try engaging my lats on my bench because uh, you know as as I progress as as you progress in your weight training you can notice a lot of little technical things make a big difference so that's me trying to engage my lats uh, even prior to this I'm a very flat bench press I don't have much of an arch on my bench press um, yeah that's just that's just always been me I haven't really ever taken advantage or even necessarily tried this is actually a big step up from what I what I used to do so you could imagine how flat it was uh, yeah just trying to rebuild strength and as you can see the elbows are finally at 45 degrees so that was something I was trying to work on in the past and it's just second nature to me now. So it feels good man. Uh, from there I move on to barbell rows and yes I do swing a little bit in my barbell rows and that's just what works for me. It's been working so far and you can disagree whatever but it works for me and I feel it more than when I go I don't know super strict and slow otherwise I feel like it's more of a turns more into a penalty row but whatever that's just that's just what I think uh, as far as like my grip I'll use the versus just depending on how wrecked my hands are from deadlifts uh, the previous session and today this particular day they were <laughs> obviously fried so I try not to use them if I don't have to and from here we move on to the mysterious weights um, doing standing dumbbell presses I have no idea how much these weigh uh, <laughs> So they're not labeled. All I know is that they are, they weigh less than 70 pounds and that's the next step up uh, in our gym or in this particular gym. And I don't have the strength to do um, a set of six uh, with 70 pounds overhead right now. 70 or 75, I don't know. Anyway, not strong enough yet. So I just do those, but I'll uh, be transitioning um, from there to overhead press because I don't want to just stay stuck at those that weight and continue moving up in reps. So I'm going to start incorporating overhead pressing again and hopefully that'll carry over to my bench. Curls for the girls. Everyone's favorite exercise. And I'm just, I think I'm going for like 12 to 15 reps here. And I just do both sides till I feel like I'm really gonna break form, and then I just do uh, one side at a time. And I don't know if you guys have these. Uh, dumbbells or I'm not sure what you even call them uh, coming up but they're like triangular dumbbells I've never seen them before and the only time I use them you'll see is for side laterals uh, they really uh, they really hit the uh, the uh, uh, I can't even think you know what I'm talking about 
side head and the tails. Uh, yeah, right. Anyways, yeah, they uh, they kind of remind me of. I don't know if you guys ever saw the exercise Birdo used to do. And coming up, this is what happens when you take too much pre workout and it kicks well, in. What are we right. doing? So uh, today we're doing rear delt uh, flies. We're doing rear delt flies. And uh, let's, let's fucking do it. Alright, man, let's go. Yeah. Pre workout kicking in hard at Come the on. end of the workout. Push it! Close to midnight. Let's go. Got no sleep. Do it! <laughs> But that's it guys. Anyways, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Right. Don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. That's it, man. <laughs> Look at that pump. That lat separation, though.